welcome to Yoga Express, the mobile stretch clinic that takes yoga to the people. Once again, today we have a slight adaptation of our yoga postures. Josian heard to my right, Josian and I have been workshopping simple 48 simple ailment specific stretches from a postcard. This, uh, this technique is called Yoga uh, 48 plus the program is called yoga express yoga express is monday through friday at 1 in the afternoon on time warner 57 rcn 84 and fios 35. we adapt our simple stretches from a book called yoga secrets and i'm going to hold it up if there is a camera that picks it up that's fine if not the book itself is called yoga secrets we'll we're down to a very minimal crew today. Jabari, you're managing the fort all by yourself. Thank you so much. Jabari is our director, and he's managing on his own. I, we really appreciate that. For our viewers out there, if you want a copy of this postcard, we will send you a copy. Write to me via the website, www.yogaexpress.com. That's Y-O-G-A-X-P-R-E-S-S. We also have a fridge magnet for you. Which you stick this on your fridge. We have a little business card with the sequence on the back. Put this in your wallet and put this little postcard in your handbag. Just don't give yourself or us any excuses not to stretch. Josian doesn't give any excuses, so I don't think you should. <laughs> Josian has as busy a lifestyle as any of us, and she still manages to find time oh, yes. to stretch in between belly dancing. Martial arts. Martial arts. Simple martial arts. Aikido. So Josian gets an adrenaline rush with all the other activities, and then she decides to keep that rush at, with an endorphin high. She decides to keep that rush at that high. So it's okay. It's okay to get addicted to feeling great. That's what this program is all about, feeling good. We're going to pick up where we left off yesterday. Josian, if you recall, we actually skipped Garudasan, posture number 15 yes. from our sequence, and we did that deliberately to show our viewers at home that there is one particular posture that brings a lot of relief, especially if you're sitting in front of a computer for long hours. You need to stretch the back of your trapezius, the back of your shoulders, the back of your neck, the trapezius muscles in the base of your neck at the back. So we're going to start with that posture today. And we're going to not really workshop, but we're going to try and flow sequentially from Garudasan we're going to go into Ashwa Sanchala equestrian. Garuda is eagle, by the way. From Ashwa Sanchala, we're going to go to Parsva Kona Namaskara, which is a prayer twist. And we're going to keep moving progressively through 10 postures. We're, going to do, we're not really going to workshop at this time. We're going to go through it very smoothly. And then we'll do the same postures sitting on chairs to show you how, it, how easy it is to adapt these postures. So Josiane, are we ready? Absolutely. Okay, I love that. <laughs> Josiane is all pumped up. She's ready to go and she practices every day. So I can imagine where you get your energy from. Let's stand up. We could start with Garudasan and Josiane, I apologize. It's a balanced posture. We're starting <laughs> with a balance. Josian and I are not very fond of balanced postures, but it's important in life. So, the little trick in balanced postures is to look at an object in front of you that doesn't move. The closer you look towards yourself, the stronger your balance gets, but at the same time, it is a little hard to hold your posture. So look at an object about three to four feet away. If you feel that, if you have any doubts about your balance today, let's do that. I'm gonna look at the edge of the rod. So Josian, you may want to look at your belt, yoga belt. The blue little thing over there. That's it. <laughs> the blue yoga belt. So Josian, if you want to start. Jabari, could we have the music a little bit louder? We don't hear anything here. And we like a little bit of background music because it's very nice when we have our moments of silence. Now transfer the weight to your right leg. Thank you. <laughs> Raise. Lift your left heel. And what we're going to do, use the props that you already have. Move your left knee over the right knee. So try and twine your left foot around your right ankle or calf. Now once you've got your left leg over, inhale, cross your right elbow over the left elbow and twine your arms together. Look ahead at a point that does not move. Inhale, lift, 
and release the left leg. That's a good volume. <laughs> Thank you, Jabari. <laughs> Exhale and release the arms. Now, transfer the weight to your left leg. Move, use your hands as props. Move your right knee over your left knee and twine your right foot around your left ankle or calf. Left knee is over, inhale, raise the left arm and bring your left elbow over the right elbow and this way you should get a perfect twist of your whole body. Inhale, release the legs and then the arms and we'll continue on into the very next posture. We're going to come into equestrian posture. So bring your left foot forward. Take your right leg as far back as you can. Keep both your feet nice and firm. We're going to exhale and bend the left leg at the knee. Exhale. It's going to feel a little unusual, Josian, because we usually transition one after the other. Some of these postures are easier to adapt sitting in a chair, so we're only going to go through those postures. Exhale. Come down. Curl your toes in on the right foot. And what we're going to do is very gently, we're going to bring the right knee to the floor. Now, uncurl your toes this time. Wiggle your left foot forward. Keep exhaling and go down. Bring your pelvis lower and lower. This is equestrian or ashwa sanchala. Ashwa is equestrian or horse. Sanchala is in the posture of. Now we're going to move on to the next posture, we're going to transition, keep your left hand on your left thigh, inhale, raise the right arm, exhale, dip your right elbow over your left knee, place the left palm over the right palm and look up at your left elbow and hold. When we say hold, it's hold your posture, not your breath. Inhale, let's come out of the posture, release the arms very gracefully, as gracefully as you can. We're gonna switch legs. We're gonna take the left leg back and bring the right leg forward. So in order to do that, I'm gonna curl my toes in, lift my knee off the ground, take the left leg back, and then bring the right foot forward. I'm gonna bring the left knee to the floor, keep your toes curled in. If you notice, I actually have work pants today, and this is a deliberate attempt I deliberately chose to wear these pants. These are trousers you might wear at work. They may not stretch as much, but the idea is to show you that it is possible to adapt these stretches even in your workplace. Keep exhaling, dip your hip, bring your pelvis closer and closer to the floor if you need to, wiggle your right foot forward. You should feel a delicious stretch in your quadriceps on the upper left thigh. Now place your right hand on your right knee, inhale, raise the left arm, Exhale, dip your left elbow over the right knee. Place your right palm over your left palm. Raise your right elbow up, look up at your right elbow and feel a beautiful stretch in your obliques on the left side. Obliques are the muscles, a large muscle group in your waistline. Inhale, release the posture very gently, come back. We're gonna come into Marjaria or cat going to come on all fours. Knees are just below the hips, hip width apart. Hands are just below the shoulders, shoulder width apart. Fingers are nicely splayed, your toes are curled in. We're going to inhale and exhale. So as we inhale, we're going to puff our chest out, lift our chin and, uncur and keep our toes curled. As we exhale, we're going to arch our back and uncurl our toes. Right, Josie? And ready? You ready. Okay, inhale. Exhale, arch your back. If you remember, I did tell you Josiane used to be a dancer, so you can not notice how gracefully she brings her chin up and arches her back. Let's try that one more time. Curl your toes in, inhale. Exhale and come to neutral position. Also, Josian, you do have cats at home, right? Yes, two. Ah, so you've been watching them. Okay. <laughs> and they're very it's gracious. A, they are very graceful. You're right. It's a very nice undulating motion. So it's like a wave. You move up and you it's arch It's always in circle that they move. Is it really? <laughs> yeah, whenever, whenever they do, it's always in circles. Always in circles. Oh, they yeah. like the 
They oh, clearly serve, they wash themselves in serving, they, everything. <laughs> I never know, I never even realized everything that. Everything is surround with a cat. It's, it's uh, all a movement. It's, it's a very uh, smooth and uh, wow, I've got to watch circular. them. I'm more of a bird person, you know, so I don't have had The founder cats. of Aikido, Ueshiba, um, did they create this um, Aikido on the cat's movement? Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. The, the we should have you on as a special guest. We'd love to talk about that. Come on, tell us a little bit. <laughs> no, come on, that's very interesting. No, it's a very big subject. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, promise me you will come on one day. Let's talk. I never even realized. So Aikido is based on cat movement. Yes. The founder, where she did that, he was observing, very observing the cat. He's a, he's a, he's a wonderful... Uh, Wonderful man, wonderful. Wow, player, I know that sensei. yoga, a lot of yoga postures are, you know, named yes. after animals, but I didn't realize that Aikido is yeah. based on that too. Let's come in profile, Josie. We're going to try and come into the camel posture. Right now, it's not a question of trying. We will get into camel posture. When we come on the chair, it's going to be an adaptation. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to place our right hand on the right heel, left hand will go on the left heel. So if you think it's not, your hands are not going to make it today, you can curl your toes in. Just remember when you curl your toes in, there's pressure on the knees. So you want to be very careful. Keep your feet flat for now. Knees, you can bring your knees out apart just a little bit, keep it under the hips. If you feel you want to get a deeper stretch, you can bring your knees together. Place your palms on your buttocks. You're going to inhale. Bring your elbows as close as you can. Inhale. Lift your chin up. When you go past midpoint, exhale. Glide your palms down the back of your thighs. Reach for your right ankle and your left ankle. And you're going to hold on. Once you've made that connection, bring your pelvis forward. Inhale, bring your right hand back on your buttock, left hand comes back. Exhale, and let's see if we can go very much right into the next posture. We're going to face our audience, our viewers today. We're going to come into rabbit. Josiane, if your knees are still hurting, I know you have tender knees. Don't oh, come like, forward. If it's together, way. if it's together. It's together. Yes. You want to try it? Yeah, okay, I will good. have my knee on the other side. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Josiane has her own adaptation, even on the floor. So we're going to go into... <laughs> Shashank or rabbit. Knees are together, sit on your heels, inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down, keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead, palms facing in. We're going to exhale and fold from the hip with a nice straight back. You should feel a wonderful tricep stretch in this posture, more than that. When we do the adaptation, Hopefully, we will feel more of an abdominal compression, the lower abdomen pressing on your upper thigh. Inhale, bring your palms together, keep your back nice and straight, engage your upper abdominal muscles to lift your hands off the floor. Keep inhaling. Exhale and release. Let's see how we went, Jesse. And so we did Garuda one, Two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful. We just have no pigeon today. No, we are doing that. <laughs> Actually, why oh, you love that, don't you? One, two, three, four. Pigeon will do tomorrow. We'll start tomorrow's episode with the pigeon. How's that? Good. We're gonna go into Ardha Matsendra. Ardha Matsendra is half Lord of the Fishes. Ardha is half. Matsy is fish. Matsendra is Lord of the Fishes. The whole posture literally translates to half Lord of the Fishes. You love the pigeon. Why? This is a lovely story. I love to stretch my. Um, the whole body. Yeah, the time. twist really is a big twist. I thought maybe it's, it's a... because you're a cat person. Yes, that's part <laughs> two. <laughs> hey, I'm a bird person, so... <laughs> Ooh. Left I'm an heel. animal person, so yeah. <laughs> animal, yeah. Now that's... Mm. It, it's interesting. Well, we need to talk about that a little more. Let's do that in the next episode. <laughs> left heel comes under the right buttock. Right foot goes over the left knee. Jabari, we still don't hear the music, but if you're hearing it there in the back, that's fine. Your right foot is flat on the mat. Now push your right knee in and torque your body a little to the right. Inhale, Play, keep your right hand where it is. Inhale, raise your left arm. Exhale, dip your left elbow over your right knee. Clasp your left knee or your left ankle. If you are comfortable holding on to the left ankle, you can go back all the way down there, that's great. For me, I am happy where I am right now. Thank you, Jabari. Place your right hand behind you and twist. Keep exhaling and twist to look back. 
Now remember that the closer your palm is to your buttock, the more your body will be able to lift itself out of this tight position. You'll be able to breathe better. Inhale and release. Release your left arm and then the right leg. Don't forget, we need to do the other side. Untangle yourself. Place your right heel under your left buttock. Take your right left leg with your right hand with both hands and move your left foot over your right knee. Left foot is flat on the ground. The sole of the right foot faces the back of the room. Push your left knee in and torque your body a little to the left. Keep your left hand where it is. Inhale, raise the right arm. Exhale and dip your right elbow over the left knee. Hold on to your right knee, right ankle. And right ankle is the furthest that you would get there today. Josian is very comfortable doing that. For me, I'm happy where I am at the right knee. If you're not able to get to your right knee, you can place your right hand on your left thigh. Take your left hand behind you. That'll help you twist just a little more to the left and look back. Very nice. Thank you, Jabari. Inhale. Back to the front. Release the right hand. And then the left leg. And where are we? Oh, Janu Sesha. Keep the right foot folded, right leg folded in. Extend your left leg out in front of you. So how are we doing? Let's see, we have, yes, that and the Gomukha. Then we go on to the chairs. I have to fold my knee. Yeah, I want to <laughs> bend forward. No, that's good, that's good. I'm glad. Josiane has been very careful. Again, she still has a tender knee. So uh, folks out there, if you've hurt yourself in some manner, be very careful, pay attention to that part of the body that needs your attention the most today. Keep your extended leg, your foot on your extended leg nice and flexed and turn to face the extended leg. Inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down, keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead, palms facing in, clasp your palms together. We're gonna exhale and fold from the hip, keep your back nice and straight. And if you can hold on to the sole of your foot, to your toes, wherever you can reach today, that's great. And if it doesn't quite get there, place your hands on your ankles or your knees. Anusisha is literally head to knee. If your knee is not going to touch your, if your head is not going to touch your knee today, you can bend your knee a little bit and make your knee touch your head. But the idea is to feel a hamstring stretch. So just keep it nice and extended. You should also feel a beautiful stretch in your obliques on the right side and your abductor muscles on the outside of your upper right thigh. Inhale, palms together, keep your back nice and straight. Use your upper abdominal muscles. Keep inhaling and let's come up. Exhale and release. Let's switch. I hit my nose on my knee. Wow, that's not bad. Very nice. Is that normal? With your leg extended. That's that's really wonderful. That is actually that means you're actually getting once you get your nose on your knee, your forehead is not very far off. So you're really getting there. That's good. And you could feel sti still feel the hamstring stretch. Yeah, you could feel me. That's wonderful. That means your hamstrings are really nice and stretchy. Today, I don't even know if there's a word called stretchy, but they're really nice and extended. I should go backwards to have my knee on my, my, my thing. Really? Yes. <laughs> you had to go back. Oh, wow. <laughs> now, this is something very unusual. <laughs> even under normal circumstances, it's a little hard for me to get my forehead to the knee. Forehead to the knee is the name of this literal translation. But today, it's even a little harder because of work trousers. But even oh, yeah, otherwise, even otherwise, I'm not really um, ready to get my forehead to the knee anyway. So today, I have an excuse. <laughs> Normally, I don't. Keep your right leg extended, but that's wonderful. So maybe that leg is even more flexible. That's really good because that means your hamstrings have stretched a lot. That's wonderful. It really should feel great. Now, tuck, attach the sole of your left foot to the inside of the upper right thigh. Keep your right leg extended, flex your right foot, and turn your body, torque your body to face the extended leg. Try to bring your left knee down as far, as close to the floor as possible. Inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead. Clasp your palms, we can exhale and fold from the hip, keeping our back nice and straight. Exhale and fold. Now, we are trying to adapt these postures. They are sequential, but they're not exactly every posture. 
um, that's on the card. We are just adapting between yesterday, today, and tomorrow. We are adapting about 30 postures from the sequence, which you can actually stretch sitting in a chair. So we are skipping a few from the sequence. We're just going to stretch into postures that we can actually adapt. Inhale, come up. You should have felt a wonderful stretch in your hamstrings again. Exhale, release. Let's extend the other leg out. So Janu Sirisha was head to knee. With both the legs extended out, we're going to try and fold forward as deep as we can. It's called Paschimottanas. And Paschimottan is bird beak. This time, I want to be the toucan. What would you like to be? <laughs> what bird do you want to be? The dodo bird. Dodo bird, okay. <laughs> We're going to be bird beak, so I'm going to be the beak of a toucan, and you're going to be the beak of a dodo. Keep both your legs extended, flex your feet, and you should feel a beautiful stretch already in your hamstrings. We also, now as we fold over, we want to feel a wonderful compression of the lower abdomen on our upper thighs. Inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height, palms facing down. Keep inhaling, take your arms all the way overhead, palms facing, and keep your back nice and straight, and hinge from the hip. Exhale and fold. When you flex your feet, it's a little easier to get your palms over your feet. We have about five minutes. Thank you, Jabari. Clasp your palms together. Inhale. Let's come up. Exhale and release. We have five minutes. I'm wondering where the time went. Oh, we still have to demonstrate the chair. Uh, there was only five minutes to me. I know. <laughs> Okay, tuck, we're going to go into cow face. Tuck your right foot under your, uh, your left leg, left foot under the right buttock, and right foot is over the left knee. So right knee and left knee are going to try and align. I'm going to cheat a little bit. I'm going to come off the floor and then try to adjust my buttock. So if you need to sit on something to bring your hip up, sometimes that makes it a little easier to keep your body comfortable. Josian looks very comfortable. I don't need to show her anything. She's very comfortable. <laughs> That's because you're good at it and your your adductor muscles. I even muscles. look computer sometimes in this position. I feel very comfortable. Wow. That means your adductor muscles, the abductor muscles on the outside of your thighs mm. are nice and stretched. That's wonderful. So you feel nice and limber. And just watch how Josian's knees align beautifully, one on top of the other. Soles of both feet face back. Right knee is over, left arm goes up. Inhale, raise the left arm. Exhale, dip your left hand behind your back. Take your right hand from behind, clasp both your hands together. Josie, maybe you want to turn just a little bit because we don't have enough crew. You want to turn and show the cameras how you've got both your hands clasped. That's beautiful, very nice. So the camera will pick you up in profile, beautiful. Inhale and release. Now we're gonna switch legs and switch arms. So let's very gracefully switch the other leg. Tuck your right foot under the left buttock, soles facing back, left knee goes over the right knee. Now this leg is a little more flexible than the other one, so I'm a little more comfortable. Now left knee is over the right knee. Very nice, that's good because that way people can see when you clasp your hands behind. Beautiful. Left knee is over, right arm goes over. Inhale, raise the right arm, exhale, dip your right hand behind your neck, behind your back. Take your left arm from behind, clasp your hands together, make the connection. Inhale, lift your chin up. Let's exhale and release. Josian, we literally have, God, only three minutes. Jabari, keep the tape rolling. We're going to try and complete. We're going to get into, sit on our chairs and see how, how much we can take you through all of these 10 stretches. Now we hope we're gonna let's dive into. It very fast. <laughs> yeah, I know that's right, but we have to be careful too. So we're gonna try and move fast. We'll do a few and continue. We'll tomorrow. do a few and then continue the rest tomorrow. Thank you, Josie, and I think that makes sense. We don't want to work so fast that we hurt ourselves. Okay, the cat position is easy. All we do is tuck. We're sort of one third. We have two minutes left. Okay, that's not. We haven't done too much today, but that's okay. Thank you, Jabari. <laughs> now. Bring your feet back just a little bit. Curl your toes in. We're going to get into the cat position. Very easy. You can just hold on to the side of your chest. We have a metal legs here. So let's inhale. What we're going to do is lift, lift our chin, puff out our chest, arch our back, uh, and just move back. And then we're going to arch our back and compact the front. So let's do that. Inhale. Exhale. Compact the front. 
One more time. Inhale, expand the chest. Arch your back. So it's like an undulating motion, except we're not using the legs. And in cat position, in the traditional posture, we don't use much of our legs anyway. We're going to have to skip the camel because that's a pretty intense... Actually, no, it is. It's fine. Since we demonstrated on the mat, we might as well do it here. Okay, you want to tuck your toes in. Now, if you're not feeling very secure, you want to curl your toes in. This is only a back bend. There's no forward fold. So we're going to, again, hold on to the sides. In fact, we'll take our hands back. Inhale. Let's go back as much as we can. Keep your low back muscles nice and tight. Bring your shoulders back. Inhale and release. Maybe we can get a couple of them. Okay, keep your feet where they are. <laughs> That's where time down. But we're going to continue tomorrow. We're going to get into two more. Inhale, bring your arms up to shoulder height. Keep inhaling. Take your arms all the way overhead. And we're going to fold from the hip. Feel a wonderful compression of your lower abdomen. Try to get your hands to your feet this time. Or you can